Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and I figured it was probably about time to go ahead and finish this big mission with the fish monster, the Octuba Sturgeon Leviathan Monster. Now, a special fishbone hook should be enough to trick the overly cautious Leviathan Sturgeon into biting. Do keep in mind the incredible size of this legendary monster and use the most powerful tackle you can get. But as far as bait goes, any sturgeon treats should do the trick. So we have to equip the fishbone hook and catch the monster. So this is going to get us 1200, not, listen, 1200, not 1200, 12,940 XP, two bait coins, and 5,875 cash. That will probably take me over the limit here. It might get me my level 51, guys. That would be nice, very nice. So let's see what we can do here. Now, as far as where to fish for this guy, I'm gonna basically use my intuition on this. I've caught the Octuba Beluga Sturgeon most often in this particular All Hail the Pioneers peg. So let's go ahead and try it there. I mean, if not, we can go to the dock. That's the other location, but I've cut more of the big ones here. So go with the gut. Now we can only use the fish hook once, I think, unless there's five of them. I doubt that'd be the case, but we're gonna see here real quick. And how many of those hooks do we have? might be under specials let's see no oh there it is oh we have ten of them very nice that it will help considerably that means that we can use our bottom rods to our advantage as well right here is a really great spot for fishing for them and I usually come all the way down here just under the bridge now obviously you can catch them further downstream and on the dock but this has been the best place for them let me go ahead and change my hook here there we go I'm gonna go ahead and change all the hooks Oh, shoot. Apparently I lost my bait as a result. Let me see. What is the best bait for these guys? Might try something else. We might try this muscle meat. Because sturgeon really like that too. And they also like this clam meat. So I'm going to try a little bit of a mix of things here, guys. Okay, let's see, what for this one, I thought I'd put clam meat on that one, guess not, let's try clam meat, and on seven, I don't know, seven may not be strong enough to bring this guy in, might have to try float fishing because I really just don't trust that to be strong enough a 35 pound test, the others, yeah, not this one. So this Majesty goes to 50.5. I think it can handle it. We'll put the hook on there. We're just going to have to deal with one less rod this time. Now as far as bait, let's go with large cut bait. They like them. I think I'll put this a little further ahead. Now, when I do the float rod, I'm going to put it at about 40 inches, which seemed to work in the past when I have been here. Oh, that's the wrong rod. Sorry. Uh, let me make sure I have the right hook. Yeah, I do have the right hook on there. And let's see. It is at 40. Now, I usually throw it just under the bridge and let it float down on its own. It looks like I need to take the tension down a little bit there. 
Now we're going to just watch this guy. Wait for the others to react. Hopefully, we'll get some action. Usually with these monster fish, it doesn't usually take too long. The only one I've really run into that was a difficult one to locate was the dendrofin. Other than that, the rest of them have been pretty easy. But so far on this mission, everything has been tough. I will tell you that. So I am not counting on it being easy, that's for sure. All right, looks like we got us our first bite. Let's see here, guys. Oh, boy. Yeah, this might be him. This might be him. This is no Mickey Mouse rod here. I don't know. It's kind of coming in a little too easily, honestly. It's catfish. Trophy wells. Not a bad fish. Not what we're after. Doggone it. Alright, we'll try it again. It's just more XP and more cash for our pot. Which I think we're doing really well. We're almost up to 200,000 cash. Just this mission alone, I've gotten like around 60,000 cash. I think that's what it is. Let's see. Yeah, well, it's 178 so far. That's 13,253. Yeah, get close. You will get your money back. Don't worry about it. I know it seems expensive to come here, so... It is not that bad, honestly, guys. Not if you spend the time. Alright guys, we are in a new location. I decided to move over to the dock because I wasn't really getting a whole lot of bites over. We're going to test this out. Uh, I've got plenty of beluga sturgeon over here as well, and I'm hoping that that holds true for these guys. It may have been just the timing or the type of day that I was fishing also. Sunny days are not always the best. Things keep biting. I've got all these cast right along these markers. So far, nothing has really sunk its teeth into it, so to speak. But we're getting near the main peak of the night. That's usually a good time for sturgeon. This first rod seems to be going off every few minutes, but it's, nothing is, I don't know, keeping with it, so to speak. It just keeps playing with it. I'm also fishing for Xander right now as well. Thought I might as well see if we can't catch a few more cash cash laden fish all right guys we have something 
kind of big. Don't know if it's what we're after. Honestly, because this is a smaller rod. This is only a 35 pound test and it seems to be bringing them in fairly, well not easily, but a little easy for this type of rod. I think this might be a catfish, but we're going to see here. Well, these guys are definitely elusive. I will tell you that. Let's see. Yes, it is a catfish. Trophy wells. And we're out of we're out of minnows, really? Holy crap. That's not good. <laughs> I think we're going to we're going to have to rectify that. That's without a doubt. We got to have those. They are Super important. There, that should take care of that situation. We'll go ahead and throw another one of those on there. See, that's always the problem, guys, with this particular mission. We've got so many species that are gonna bite on the same baits. And even though we're fishing at the peaks and doing what we can, we're still gonna get fish that are not what we're after. All right, guys, looks like we finally got something on this one. This is a crawfish. Ooh. This might be our guy here. Either that or it's a very big Wells catfish, one or the other. Or a beluga. <laughs> We've already gone down that path, but we're going to see. Yeah, it's fighting more like one of those. It's doing that pulsing action again. Yeah, I've been going through the different baits. It seems like the crayfish have got the best response so far. And we got something on number two as well. The problem is, I know this is... Well, shoot. Well... Let's see how... Oh, good God, we might actually have two of them. Well, at least I got that one hooked. Now, the other one escaped. Doggone it. But we still have this one. He is still taking the line out. Good lord. This better be our fish, guys. I think it might be, honestly. Yeah, there's no way that other bottom rod's going to be able to catch one of these. This is... I think this is a cat boxer here. It's barely able to hold up. We're going to be fighting this guy for a minute. I'm just hoping he doesn't spool me. Oh boy. This is him. This is him, without a doubt. Or actually, probably should be this is he. Come on, fish. Cut me some slack here.
All right, guys, we're starting to get him in. We've got it under 40 feet. He keeps taking it out, though. I'm not sure if we're going to see another surge here or not. Damn. But, yeah, he bounced back up to 100, almost to 200 again, and then he let me gain a lot. Now he's doing that again. He's taking out a whole bunch. This is a big fish, go. That's all I know. Big old fish. <coughs> Actually, is good because we'll get a better picture if we get this guy landed. But I'm starting to wonder. He just keeps taking it back out, and I cannot gain any more on him. I got it down in the 40s there for a little bit, and I thought, well, maybe I'm going to finally get him in, but. No. Mm. Okay, we're down to 56. Uh, just won't let me get down to... Okay. Maybe. Okay, we're getting close, guys. Let's get him into 20 and then we'll drop it. Gotta be kidding me. There we go. We got him. Oh, wow. No, I had no idea he was that big. I was thinking close to the beluga size. Not, not that big. Not that big. He is the second biggest fish I've caught in this game. Check that out, guys. 233.472 pounds. 107 inches long, 25,893 cash, that's not without completing the mission, 13,242 XP gained, and I think I just went over the limit, and have gone to level 51 with this guy, let's take a look at him, because I do want to see what this guy looks like, oh my god, that's a fish. There's no way a human being could even hold a fish this size. <laughs> Jeez.
And supposedly you can catch more of one of these. So I think I'm going to hang out here and see if I can't get a few more. Because if they're going to pull in that much XP and I've got 10 hooks to do it, why not? <laughs> Definitely get me leveled up quickly, that's for sure. Yeah, we're getting a picture of this. This guy is huge. Get it from a few angles. Let's see if we can't get rid of that. There we go. All right. Well, there he is. We also got 12,940 XP for the mission. Actually, the cash is pretty low compared to what we got off the fish itself. Two bait coins and a sturgeon leviathan mount. And we did level up. 1500 more cash, another bait coin, and a whole bunch of new stuff unlocked, which is good. Looks like we got three way rigs and a stronger titanium leader. It's a new floral line. That will work. Well, alright, guys, that is our big fish. I think we did pretty good. Our I think I don't know what we got as far as cash goes, but we are doing real good in XP. And anyway, guys, I'm going to continue fishing here because honestly, if I could catch another one or two of these guys, that would be amazing. Probably get a, another level or two. But if I can't, well, that is what it is. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.